and let's talk a little bit about uh, what I've set it up with. It's a 350 liter, 92 gallon tank. I've uh, purchased eight bags of uh, ADA Amazonia. Probably the new type, this is in uh, July 2016, which uh, as you can see, I've uh, given it a lot of depth all over. Uh, kept it with the uh, moon rocks, some uh, submerged roots from the local pet shop. It started out on the 20th of August, put water in it, the water here in Dubai is about 7.8 pH, 2-3 kH, very little GH, maybe 1 or 2. For the first 13 days I had uh, very high levels of ammonia which is uh, expected from the leaching, about 4 ppm. Zero nitrates, zero nitrates, and uh, started dosing CO2. 13 days later, my uh, ammonia went down from 4 to 2. Nitrates went up from uh, zero to very high, maximum of the API test kit, and nitrates about 20. That lasted about a week. And uh, then the uh, nitrate eating bacteria started uh, colonizing the filters and uh, the biomass here. Ammonia to zero, nitrate to zero, nitrates up to 80. Did a big water change. In between that, I have done very little water change as opposed to what uh, ADA is recommending simply because I didn't have any livestock in it, it was a fishless cycle. Did a big water change, about 60-70% uh, of water. Did half RO and half uh, tap water back in. Let it rest for about another week before I added uh, some fish. The first I added six Siamese algae eaters, six Amano shrimps and uh, some, they're not wild guppies, but they're of the general original stock. That was uh, five days ago. Everything went well. Today I purchased seven chocolate gouramis, two whip tails, you can see one resting on the branch over there, five autosynclus, five uh, blue ram cichlids and eight of this little killi. Eight of them, yeah, four females, four males. That's a male right there. Another uh, six amano shrimps added today. And I think that is it. Looking good. Let's hope it stays that way. Yeah, talking about uh, the whiptail and the uh, autosynclus, I have quite a lot of brown diatoms, brown algae that came just because of a very nutrient rich fish tank. This area where I had a drop checker was filled at 4 o'clock this afternoon with uh, the glass was just full of, uh, of brown slimy diatoms. It's now 9 p.m. It's completely gone. I'll post a video of the two guys, the Ottos and the Whiptails, they're just eating it up. As you can see on the foreground, there's still some brown diatoms here. I'm sure that will be gone shortly. Those guys are amazing. I just hope I can keep up the food source for them. Signing out from Dubai.